one reason um, I had to come up with a new tool post grinder that would work with the new tool, tool post is so that I could cut big pieces of glass or ceramic tubing on the lathe because in, especially in the case of quartz this is the only way and I want to be able to use these dirt cheap Harbor Freight diamond discs which are smaller around than the motor well you know one thing to make maybe this a little bit less problematic is to use a bolt circle motor mount that I can trim off to the exact diameter of the motor and I won't have this extra thickness back here but uh, in reality what I did was just uh, move the compound a few degrees so that this bracket will clear it's about a quarter of an inch there we've cut all the way through the tubing I have a chainsaw file chucked in the tail stock nothing special about it being a file it's just there to catch the piece and this will be the first time I've actually tried this with this setup so uh, the speeds and feeds are guess and golly we're going to turn the lathe real slow and the wheel pretty fast I'm going to use this water as a coolant uh, which seems to work especially well with glass and diamond wheels keeps it helps keep the diamonds on I'm going to turn on the power supply that's about half of the speed it's probably fast enough maybe too fast let's go in but the idea with the compound at this angle is we can go straight in now it's going to chamfer the cut do a little extra rubbing and it's unavoidable no matter what you do usually and this is a worn wheel usually the seats up this is Pyrex so it should eat it up pretty good I didn't bother to clean it up because I don't actually have a use for this and the reason I'm doing this you know first take well hopefully this is the first take that you see because I don't want to waste any <laughs> here we go so we're going to come in using the compound so we start hitting this is where you find out Pyrex isn't round so we knew that this is a four foot long piece it looks like it could go a lot faster but why would I? the other benefit of water is not only just water or glass like water when it's being cut but I'm not breathing all this glass dust because it's coming off with an aerosol and falling back down so I'm going pretty slow here on the compound it's noisy we know oh we're getting it hot let's see uh, when you see dust going off you know you're getting it hot or drying it out see what the end looks like here. I'm probably almost through. These nice little bottles with the metal tips are cheapy on Amazon, by the way. And I'll try it. <laughs> Most of the other available ones, and these are the nicest so far. You can even leave them uncapped with acetone in them and the acetone doesn't disappear in, in a day. There you go. Boink. Oh, that was pretty smooth. <laughs> Let's run a 20, 28 volts on a 48 volt nominal motor. And uh, let's see what our uh, our glass looks like. Maybe I can zoom in or maybe I'll have to remount the camera. Okay, here's a picture of the uh, cut off piece at the end. It's actually not pr too bad. We could, uh, and if I was doing this with something real, we would be grinding it flat. Maybe I'll show a little bit of that. Sorry about the uh, motion sickness here. The, uh, the other end also looks pretty good. It does have a angle on it from the, you know, it's the same angle we had when we ran the compound in. But uh, overall not bad and easily fixed, which I may take a little movie of doing. Okay, I've set the compound back straight and finger tighten the nuts. We're not putting any amount of torque on anything here, so that part isn't very touchy. And we'll start it up and grind this end uh, flat again, take the champer off. Um, so here we go. Now because I was lazy and didn't want to turn everything around in different tool mounts, I didn't I'm using the main I guess that's x-axis hand wheel which isn't very precise. So I might accidentally bump feet a little bit too much. Get it wet. And I'm just trying to overlap the diamond area of the wheel. 
So it's in a, a good eighth of an inch farther than it would be to just reach the inner edge of the glass. And let's see what that looks like. That's a motor so it doesn't grab my hand. Looks pretty good. If we were going to actually make something good with this, yeah, yeah, it's wonderful. If we're going to actually make something good with this, we would get a uh, cone shake tool in here and a chair for the inside so we could slide O-rings over it and stuff like that without cutting them. Now there are a few ways to do this. You can either grab a angled shaped bit out of one of these ubiquitous cheap diamond wheel tool sets that you get from the uh, you know one of the uh, Chinese import stores or you could use a, a straight one and just tilt the compound but since we already got a straight compound I'm just gonna pick an angled bit here's one I've already knocked a bunch of diamonds off of um, Hey, there's no torque involved here. If there is, you're doing something wrong. So, hand tightening is uh, just fine. And we'll just run this into somewhere. Oh, I ran out of compound travel. That's good because it gets tighter there. And we'll go up high on the tool because that's where all the diamonds are still left. Uh, put water. Start the wheels. <laughs> I guess really what I would do normally is uh, tilt the compound because while this is going to work, it's only going to be the angle of this particular tool, which is going to be a little bit more acute than what I think I would really want. You run out of water pretty quick when you're putting some power into this thing. Are. But in terms of actual forces, nah. The motor's going from, let's see, 0.69 amps current drain, with no load, to 0.75, I think. Okay. I should let that dry out so maybe you can see the. Uh, to the chamfer, but it's basically done. Looks like it finished becoming sort of round. Yeah. Okay, pardon my hand holding this against a tool post, but without fishing around for a macro lens, it's the only way to get a sort of a full screen picture of the end of this stock from, you know, far away with the zoom. It, it just won't focus decently from three feet away when you zoom it in. But, uh, you know, this does a pretty nice job, so I'm very, very happy. And as you could tell, the motor just didn't slow down at all. We were using a hundredth of what it can do. So, this will work on any size. You get a steeper angle, of course, if you have to turn the thing more to clear the thickness of your stuff. But, hey, that's how it is. In case anyone wonders, even though I don't have a demo of it uh, going on right now, yes, this works for holes. And it works for holes in the sides or, you know, at any oblique angle and uh, things like quartz, which is much harder than the Pyrex we just demoed. But it works with these hollow end hole saws and not these flat ended ones, which just, uh, there's a place in there where the uh, speed versus material is zero at the center of a circle. It's a dumb idea to have ever made those. These hollow ones are a little bit harder to find, but they're uh, they're worth finding, and they're not very expensive. So, this one that's sort of end on to us has been used, I don't know, 20, 30 times, and Pyrex of about that thickness, no problem. And some. Well, to quote Ozzy, man, hey, everybody, ears me face. You can see why I don't show it very often. I did not show going through alumina because it's much harder and more time consuming, but you get there. It's just slow. And we didn't do uh, quartz because this really was the first time. I wanted to see how it did on the uh, somewhat more forgiving Pyrex. But basically, doing the exact same stuff will work. You just have to be careful. Quartz is like tempered glass and that if you put a big chip in it, the whole thing just turns to dust after a while. At the price of quartz, you'd rather not. If you want to drill holes in relatively flat things and can go straight down, 
use your drill press, go slow, use one of those hole saws and put a little dam of clay around the hole and just fill it with water and just uh, put the weight of your arm on the quill and be patient and you'll get there and it will work great. So I hope this helps people and uh, like everybody else says, thanks for watching.